Western boundary currents are some of the most intense flows in the ocean, like the Gulf Stream. They flow on the western boundary side of the world's ocean gyres. My particular interest is in the Agulhas Current, which is the western boundary current of the Indian Ocean, and it flows as a narrow, fast current down the east coast of southern Africa. I've been studying the Agulhas Current since I was a graduate student in Southampton in, in the UK. What was really interesting about our study is that we actually discovered something that we weren't expecting. What we were expecting based on observations of western boundary currents is that we see that these regions are warming at three times the rate of the rest of the world ocean. And we also understand that uh, through climate models that the world's wind systems are intensifying and expanding poleward with climate change. And so that meant that we expected to see the Agulhas current also intensifying over time. And what we found instead was uh, that the current is broadening um, and not intensifying. We had three cruises to the Agulhas current during the course of the experiment. We deploy the instruments, we turn them around in the middle to change the batteries and so on, and then we finally recover them after the three years. The design of the experiment was such that those instruments were deployed right underneath the path of a satellite flying above the Earth. So we were able to deduce exactly the relationship between the surface satellite measurements and the strengths of the current from its surface to the bottom of the ocean. And the great thing about this satellite is that it had been flying since 1992. So just like scientists are able to use tree rings to infer what the temperature of the Earth was in the past, we're able to use the satellite measurements to infer what the current, the Agulhas current, had been doing since 1992, more than 20 years ago, up to this day. So what we found was that the current has broadened instead of intensified. And this has very different implications for the way the current may be feeding back on climate change. If the current is intensifying, we expect the heat transport from the equator to the pole to increase. But if it's broadening, that's because the currents become more turbulent, there's more eddies and meanders, and the current, it flows along the coast, so at the front of the current is like a separation between the coastal ocean and the open ocean. So if the current becomes more turbulent, it's like that divide becomes more porous, and you can have more what we call cross-frontal fluxes of, say, pollutants and larvae from the coastal ocean to the open ocean, and also heat. So the implications are very different. In one case, the heat transport is increasing meridionally from the equator towards the poles. And in the other case, we may be getting more heat transport offshore from the coastal to the deep ocean.